Welcome to today's CPI demo from Introspect Technology. Today we'll be demonstrating the SV3C CPI tools, and in particular we'll be focusing on automated voltage sweeps for transmitter testing and receiver testing. So the hardware setup for today is illustrated here. As was mentioned in previous demos, uh, the instrument on the top part of the image here is the SV3C5 generator and the instrument right next to it is the SV3C5 analyzer. Today we'll be demonstrating common mode voltage sweep controls coming out of the generator and, uh, the, and we'll be measuring with the uh, analyzer as well. So there are four lanes of, uh, four, of three wires each being uh, transmitted over the MXP cable assembly to the analyzer and then there's a replica channel that's going to the scope so that we can see the sweeps uh, in action and everything will be controlled from the software environment. So if we go back to the desktop again we have the oscilloscope uh, screen connected through remote desktop uh, on the top side here and then we have two instances of the introspect ESP software as before. Uh, one is the generator instance and what we've done here is we've prepared an automation loop basically that moves the common mode voltage from 0 to 400 millivolts in steps of 20 millivolts still operating at 2.5 gigasymbols per second and then the analyzer will be performing BER on at each one of these iterations as the voltage is swept. So we'll go ahead and start the generator. You'll see that now it's asking for the analyzer to do the measurement and the analyzer will do the measurement and then they will both handshake with each other um, to perform the entire sweep. So if you look at the scope, the waveform is moving up from the zero common mode level and as you can see we could, uh, the SV3 can produce negative voltage levels uh, so that it can meet and exceed the C5 minimum voltage specs. At any rate the voltage is moving up as we see and for each iteration of the common mode voltage a BER measurement is being performed on the wire state on uh, the receiver and so we're seeing uh, the number of packets being received in burst mode and then the BER counts for each one of these uh, measurements. So the instrument is just listing, all, logging all the BR measurements as we go, but it will certainly also produce them in CSV files as always with introspect in this one. So the tool has already finished performing the sweep. We saw the common mode level go from zero, which means that the negative level was well below uh, even 100 millivolts negative, and then it went up all the way to uh, the maximum 400 millivolts in this particular case. So if we look at the results, um, each one of these basically is a BER result, so we can just look at the numbers and see the wire state errors uh, are all zero. And then in this particular automation loop, we also um, computed BER as a function of common mode and plotted it. And so we automatically created the characterization basically of the receiver against the transmitter. And uh, for all common mode voltages applied, the receiver measured zero BER. So this was a quick demonstration of how one can create automation loops and perform um, conformance testing uh, of C filings based on the introspect ESP software.